that's jet or washed uh he's got his massage pad on running much later in the day than i intended because i don't know it's just not a great day but anyway um so i've got to ride luna the trainee um it is what time is it half past four which means it's getting dark in 45 minutes so i'm gonna quickly ride luna yeah feed the horses and then plat jet and then he's sorted and then i've got to pack the float i've got a lot to do got his lycra on which he's not too impressed about and he's gonna go and spend the night in the paddock because as much as it would be great to keep him in the stable because it's like just there and um you know keep him clean he's just a much happier horse from the paddock So it's 5.45, I wanted to leave at 5.45. My alarm went off at four and then I it went off a few times and then Jack tried to go onto the doona and I looked at my phone and it said 5.23. So I have lost an hour and 20 minutes, sorry it's dark. I'm gonna be very late. It is raining, can't really tell, but I've got a jacket on over my jacket. This is definitely feeling like English days. Don't feel like English. dressage test and Jetty was pretty bloody good actually but then we still did two moves 
we stuffed. Oh, Canter huh? transition was a bit late and a bit crazy. And we broke our second canter just before we went to trot, which is really annoying. So gonna be two marks that are about four and drop our average, but hopefully we get lots more sevens and seven and a half. It is wet as here, it is horrible. We all got soaked. <laughs> about to uh, walk the cross country for the first time at Fig Tree and I'm, I'm with some, um, some of my buddies while I pretend that I like them. But um, so let's introduce you. Come here Natalie. This is Natalie. Hello. This is Natalie and she rides Remy which is this girl, Emily's old pony horse. Yes. So Natalie's doing 60. She should be doing 80, but she's done a few 60s now and she likes to nearly win every time. Yeah, nearly. Um, nearly being the word. Yeah, so, nearly. <laughs> so let's see how we go this, this weekend. And, um, now, Emily. Emily's got Mr. Bossman and she's riding another horse for um, a lady uh, in the 80. Yeah. Oscar. Right. Um, she doesn't get to ride him very often, but she does a good job with him. And Brossy... Bossy's doing the 95. He's awesome, but he's been a bit sore this week, so we'll just see what happens. And um, this is Jelena. Where are you? Hi, I'm Jelena. Coming. Jelena's got two ponies. He's got George. This is his first comeback, isn't it? Do you want to do you want to give us a little, <laughs> a little spiel about George? Um, George is six, and he's just had spinal surgery for kissing spine about what, four months ago. Yeah, four and a half months ago. And this is his first event back. But he was very naughty in the dressage. Oh dear. <laughs> so, yeah, so George is like a pretty good jumper. Very good jumper. And um, if it was just on jumping, he'd be <laughs> in the four star. Um, <laughs> so, we're, yeah, so he's just got to get a bit stronger again. And then she has a really cool new Irish horse um, called Phoenix. And he's in the 95. 95. He's first 95. So that's very exciting. So he's pretty good. So we'll see. I don't even know where my number one is. <laughs> oh shit, I've missed it. All right, well, I'll go back. So I've missed my number one. I thought it was miles away. Um, yeah, it's a bit tricky walking the course with the other girls and we're all on different heights. But anyway, so I'll walk it this first time. No, mine isn't there. That's why. Anyway, I can't find it. See? So there's a pink. So mine, I don't have a jump. I don't even jump. See? I don't even have a one. Um, I'm not sure. Anyway, I'll find it. But I'll take some take some pics of some video, uh, some jumps and stuff. And yeah. Anyway. All right. Bye. <laughs> fighting as this but we had three run outs so actually more to prefer this jump but this one is going to be the one I'm probably most nervous about especially second last okay we're just appreciating how cute Jet is oh my god yeah it's so cute I'm trying to dry the bonnet the weather's sort of cleared up a little bit we're doing dressage. We walk. We started walking. We're gonna walk again. Do the cross country up. Miss Jelena, she's hungry. We're gonna get some food. Hungry. <laughs> So um, I've done the cross country out and I've just um, helped Emily do her warm up for dressage and she did her dressage and it was like super. So oh, fingers crossed he gets the marks he deserves because he has been a bit sore this week. Oh Jet, where are you going? 
he has been a bit sore because um, we started collecting the canter a bit and engaging the back end and um, he's using himself a little bit uh, more differently. So that with combination of having a few competitions, um, just a little bit sore. And so he had some acupuncture um, since sort of last week at Boat Desert and been feeling a bit better and then yeah just just nailed his test he he normally scores very very well it's the canter that we just really want to improve um so fingers crossed she does really super um be really great for a whole prelim to come together for her i now need to get my boots on jet ready to show jump quite nervous about show jumping um hopefully i have some supporters look here's emily now and um and natalie can you see them they're just walking brossy warm them down a little you ready to go, Jodie? Go, <laughs> Jenny! Good luck, team! Complete. I may have caused three rails um, by being so nervous. Anyway, Jet was a good boy. He's a bit hot. He's not feeling himself, but look, he's pretty excited about this Muscle Max bar, and he deserves it. He um, took a little while to eat these, but now he he loves them. When I finish riding, he's like eyes eyes on legs, like looking for them. Mm, nom, nom, nom. Oh, threw it. He's a good boy. He gets a big dinner tonight. So, stupidly, had three rails, but it, it wasn't a very pretty round. It was a little bit. I hung on. He was a bit sketchy. It was very wet in the arena. Um, anyway, thank God it's over. And I'm very keen for cross country tomorrow. Um, don't worry, I'll be very nervous in the morning, but, um, but it looks fun. And hopefully, we have a good ride. I hope he feels a bit more normal tomorrow. Not sure. Why is it? Just feels a little flat today. Anyway, he's a beautiful boy. Look how beautiful he is. Look at him. And he's spitting out his bar. He's being too greedy. <laughs> you guys ready to go? We are ready to go. The fathers are tired. just sorting jet stud holes out for tomorrow we've just got home so um i've got these studs i want to call them super studs but i maybe they're a different brand but anyway i'm putting in these little flat they're called travel studs um so look it's probably not fantastically ideal at being overnight but i'll be too stressed in the morning He's in, he's staying in the stable, he's on the rubber, he'll be fine. So um, these particular type of studs, where well, I'm trying to show you, I can't get it. See how there's like a little um, divot in the, in the stud? I don't know, it's very fuzzy. Anyway, that is like a self-cleaning thing. So you still have to tap, they don't self-tap, but if there's a little bit of crud still in the hole, when you screw it in, it will come up that little gap. So, um, yeah, so that's what we're doing now. Uh, not sure how skilled I'll be at trying to video it, so I can have a go, but I'm not sure that'll work. On Sunday morning, um, it's about nearly 5.30. Um, so I've just got to chuck my cross country boots in. My fabulous, not very clean cross country boots. Veritas Evento, the best boots ever. Anyway, got to chuck them in. They clearly did not get washed, which is a bit of a shame. 
but you know not not massively vital it's not gonna make me win if they're clean um jet's eating his breakfast <laughs> feeling pretty organized actually because um my stud holes are pretty prepped so they're gonna it's gonna hopefully be really easy to do my studs it gets rained a bit more in the night so i'm not really sure which studs to wear because obviously being australia it's and it's kind of droughty, you wouldn't think, with all the rain you've seen. But um, it's normally pretty hard. And so even though it's wet, it's not like England where it's like wet for about three inches. You know, it's it might be just a sloppy layer on top and then a bit skiddy. And the top just sort of skids over, over the hard layer. So just got to be a bit careful and... <laughs> There's a bucket there. <laughs> Maybe that's why he knocks down rails. Are you blind, Jet? <laughs> Says no. I got a retarded rider. Good boy. That's some serious thinking going on there. About to go. Feeling okay. Gonna take a study, it's very, very slippery, very wet. Teddy's got his studs in. Um, fingers crossed, we get around. In his second one star, so Katie is feeding him his yummy muscle max bar, <laughs> <laughs> and he loves it. Oh, 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 oh fail. You dropped the Teddy, maybe your horse is You can still eat it off the ground. Good boy, Jetty. Yeah, I might have to snap it off. What a good boy! He's a bit tired. Do you know what I did not bring? What? Ice clay or ice boots or anything like that. Good one. So Trady's forgotten to bring her ice boots. So <laughs> have I, so it's clay. okay. I don't feel so bad now. Um, my clay. All I and bought clay. today was my cross country boots. I was like, that's all I need, right? <laughs> Poor Jet. I've got my ice boots and clay. Good job, Caitlin. Thank you. Jet's looking very tired after his cross country. He's like, uh, he was a very keen bean. Mm -hmm. Ex Brisbane Cup winner. Very fast horse. So you should never be going slow on him. <laughs> He's not good enough. So you need to do some more. Where's where's that dam that you go, Dee? Where along? We're gonna go and do some fitness. I'm gonna take Kate. Look and come and ride Phoenix for me. He goes to school. No, she doesn't. I'm. Not what? Wait, I'm encouraging her to wag. <laughs> yeah, well, it's holidays at the moment. Yeah. See? I have to check if Jet's alive. I think that he doesn't want to be done. Did you have any airy moments out on course? Um, Carl, so you're like, oh, sure. We were getting a bit close to some and a bit far away from us. <laughs> <laughs> So like half of it was very close, part was very far. Uh, no, he was pretty good. There was nothing he, oh, maybe the ditch brush. He started like drifting. Hey, he always seems to nap in that paddock, like up towards the gate. Oh, that was And I was like, oh no, <laughs> but it was okay. Oh, the is that with the, did they still have the brush on that fence? Uh, yes. She can't even remember. I can't remember, but I think it was. Um, what other questions do I have for you? <laughs> what other questions? Um, well, I'm actually trying to make it informative. Um, we discussed our turning was good. Turning, turning ish was good ish, turning better than tech. Better. Yes, we turned a little bit better. What's the process of cooling down your board? Washing it. Sponging it. Sponging it. Too far away to the friggin' tap. And scraping it off. That's when you need amazing strappers. Jodie doesn't have any. Apparently everyone's filming and sitting. <laughs> I'm doing an important job. Caitlin's doing I'm nothing. I'm doing the lighting stuff. <laughs> the lighting. <laughs> yeah, making sure it's not Daddy, you can't turn the camera over once it's no, videoing. You can't no, you have to just turn. I don't know if that's got us. Or you just pause it and turn it. Just stop it and start again. No, I don't want to do that. No, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god.
I'm gonna have to cut out all your paws and you get, what are you doing zooming on my butt? You're a good boy. Are you going to go cross country? Katie? Mm. Oh, I thought you were eating something. I thought it was a sandwich. <laughs> Katie is 199. Oh, yeah. Yeah, good girl. I'm going to go home. Icing Jet's legs now before putting on the clay, and then he can go out Ooh. and chill out. Hello. Fantastic result, um, completing Jet's um, second one star in 14th position. Um, please, if you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe for future uh, vlogs. Thanks, guys.